Hi, I'm Matthew with the VAO. Today, I'd like to show you some of the new tools that the VAO is offering to help you access and work with time series data. We start off at the VAO Time Series Archive page. This allows us to query the data holdings that the VAO is aware of to find interesting data sets that we might like to work with. So we will pick a position on the sky. In this case, we're selecting one of a known star to see what data holdings are available for that particular position. In this case, we see that the NED archive contains the HatNet data set of 6,050 light curves and that two of those are associated with the position that we've selected. Let's have a look at more data on this. The page that is brought up shows metadata about these particular objects. We can see the position, we can distinguish between different detrending methods that have been applied to those light curves, we see the temporal coverage of the light curves, magnitudes, but more interestingly, we see over here that there are various things we can do with these data. We can download them, we can plot them, we can send them to a periodogram service, we can send them to other analysis tools that the VAO is offering. So let's have a look at one of these light curves. The data has been retrieved from the NASA Exoplanet Archive, the uh, holding center for the HatNet data. We see the light curve here for this particular object. Um, it's very difficult to try and distinguish what type of object it is, so what we need to do is some further processing, namely to try and create a phased light curve for this object. To do that, we'll compute its periodogram. This will take a few seconds to run. There are other tools that we could use for these, with these light curves to get more meaningful statistics, um, light curve characterization, and such. In this particular case, we see the periodogram service, and we see that the top rank period gives us a period of 0.114 days for this. We can then see what the phased light curve for this looks like, and as we can see, it looks like this object is an eclipsing variable. Other data available for this object through the VAO includes the holdings of the Catalina real-time survey. This is the light curve that we would see from this particular data holding. Again, it's not phased yet, so we can phase it with the period that we found through the periodogram service. When we do this, we see that in this particular case, it doesn't phase up particularly well. Now, a common problem with this type of object is that the period found by the periodogram service is actually a half period. So if we try phasing it up with something that's actually twice the period that the periodogram service found, we will see that we get a much better phase light curve and we can see the characteristic double dip signature of an eclipsing variable. So I hope I've shown you in this just a brief glimpse of the types of things that the VAO is offering for time series data, both in terms of data access and the types of tools that will be available to play with that data. If you have any more questions about this, please contact the VAO Help Desk. Thank you very much.